Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed with my Kamaya healing sprays, so I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling my cards. So just a heads up, this is the second time that I'm trying to film this video and my throat immediately started acting up like as I was trying to say it the first time around. So um, I think whoever I'm channeling today definitely has a blocked throat chakra. Um, they have issues communicating how they feel and what they want. Um, so that's something, you know, take it as it resonates. That's what someone is dealing with right now. Um, yeah, I'm also getting really, really hot. So I'm just feeling like whoever I'm channeling is also just like really frustrated and really anxious in their current situation and trying to figure out what their next move is going to be. How are they going to get themselves out of this situation? Um, I'm hearing the word predicament. Um, they're in a really particularly difficult predicament. Um, I don't know exactly what they did, but let's shuffle one more time and then let's get right into pulling some cards. All right, let's see what's going on with the collective. All right, we have three cards here. So we have a queen of pentacles. So I feel like someone is really working on their money, being financially stable, um, but also just being like loving and nurturing to those around them with their financial stability. Next we have the star card. Someone is definitely working on healing themselves and you know, manifesting a beautiful future and doing the best just for themselves. Uh, wishing upon a star, I'm getting that phrase as well. And I'm also getting um, from an American tale, um, um, somewhere out there, that song, I'll put it in the down box below. Um, but yeah, somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight, someone is thinking of me and loving me tonight. Um, that's the song that I have in my head right now. So take that as it resonates. Someone I feel like is like you are their star, you are their wish fulfillment. When they think of you at nighttime, they're thinking of you and like hoping and wishing that you're thinking of them too. Next, we have the strength card. So um, with this, um, someone is trying to build up confidence as well as strength to come forward. And again, with my block th throat chakra that I mentioned, I think they're trying to gain strength to go after what they want. So those are the three main energies right here. So someone's trying to be financially stable, trying to heal, but also trying to be strong. That's great. Um, next out, we have the fool. So this person is gaining the confidence to take a leap of faith into the future, um, but they're feeling a little defensive. The next card out here was the seven of wands. And you know, this is always about being defensive, trying to stand in your power and defend what you think and what you believe. So I feel like this person is trying to take a foolish leap, um, but there's people around them criticizing them, trying to make them change their mind. So they're really defensive about every move that they're making. But it doesn't matter, with the Eight of Pentacles here, this person is definitely just in the zone. I'm getting tunnel vision vibes, um, just trying to do what is going to be best for themselves, not you know taking into account what anyone else has to say. So um, I think this is mainly, I feel like it's more of a career driven reading. Um, I feel like someone may have recently lost a job or someone has um, you know become unhappy in their current work situation. Something that they thought was gonna be very financially stable and financially abundant. You know, it's not working out. Um, I feel like there's some issues within their office life or just within the people that they're working with. Um, there's a lot of conflicts there and you know, they're doing some like inner healing, inner reflecting and trying to build up the strength to either one, quit their job or two, confront their manager or confront their team about what is going on beneath the surface that they need to feel supported and you know thriving in their current um, um, job. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Let's go pull a couple more cards. Yeah, so we have the devil card here. And I think this, in this case for this reading, this devil card is more about being addicted to work, being addicted to the hustle, um, being addicted to basically overworking yourself and convincing yourself that being overworked is more important than, um, you know, getting paid for what you're worth. 
um, is more on like basically yeah just getting a, getting money is more important than like your self-respect is what I'm getting um, yeah someone's definitely like addicted to the hustle for all of the wrong reasons um, but some new options new career opportunities are coming forward for this person um, since this person has this newfound knowledge of what they want and how they want to invest more in themselves and want to make sure that the next job that they're going to be at um, you know is really going to have equal give and take and they're gonna feel you know appreciated and supported by the new team that they chose so we have all these options coming forward for this person because this person is trying to close out this you know addiction to the hustle addiction to these like toxic energies overworking themselves and not seeing what they're worth um, this person is finally removing themselves from that situation um, to come get these new financial opportunities um, in the career next we have the knight of cups in reverse so i feel like this person that i'm channeling is going to be given quite a few offers um, but with this knight of cups in reverse this person is definitely going to pay attention to the offers that are being presented to them and making sure that this cup of love is actually full it's not just an empty cup of love where you know they're gonna pay you you know more multiple six figures but the work is actually not going to be fulfilling and they're going to be like hurt in the long run with this nine of swords energy i feel like especially if this person has lost their job they've been laying awake at night not knowing you know when their next career opportunity is going to come forward or just suffering in silence about the current job that they're in and you know they're ready to step out of this energy and find what's going to be financially stable for them next with the four of cups here this person is definitely bored with either being unemployed or bored in their current position and you know they're ready to take this new cup this new opportunity that is given to them by the universe to step into this next chapter of their life with this death card here they're definitely going to put an end to the, their toxic ways um their devilish energy of you know overworking themselves and being too harsh and not choosing the right teams to want to invest their time in and with the chariot they're gonna go as soon as this offer comes to them they're gonna be on the move and they're gonna be super confident in their decision and knowing that quitting this job or accepting this new opportunity is going to be the best option for them with this hermit um, in reverse it's this has definitely been something that this person has been reflecting on and um, has wanted to make this change and this move for a very long time so with the hermit in reverse this person you know they've done enough thinking about it they're ready to step into that next chapter and make things happen for themselves so with the world card here i feel like this new job opportunity could involve travel or this new job opportunity could um if not like traveling a lot um regularly this could just be like going uh, moving to a new city a new state a new country somewhere completely different to um get this new job opportunity so that's super exciting if you know you've wanted to travel for um your work or you've wanted to move to another country um and you the only thing really holding you back is finding a stable job offer um that is definitely coming for you so that is super exciting um so i think this reading has actually been very very straightforward whoever this reading is for if you have been looking for that new career opportunity and you have been looking for a career opportunity that allows you to travel especially you know if you don't have a family yet and you are still single and you know you're looking for those like excitements in your career still um definitely thumbs up this video um so you know you can claim it to welcome that energy into your life if anything resonated please thumbs up the video anyway so you can also energetically donate to the channel it also helps me better pick up on your specific energy and your specific story but with that said if any of you are brand new to the channel and you do decide to subscribe i hope you do on top of that don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified when i upload a new video so that is it thank you guys as always so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys